Hi there crafters, welcome along. It's Louise with you today. Thanks for checking out this video. It is of course a three old, three new stash busting layout. My three new products are the paper pack, the uh, alpha thickers and the shimmery paste. And then I've got some tags, a roll of stickers, and the gold puffy hearts. So this collection is from Cartabella, and it's the at-home collection. And as soon as I saw it, I really felt drawn to the patterns on the papers and the sort of floral elements. They're really very neutral colors. So this, when I'm looking at a collection, uh, because I'm primarily a boy scrapbooker, I will look at a collection and think if it's got florals in it are they the kind of colors that I can realistically uh, comfortably create a boys page with and this one because it had sort of those more burnt orange um, some really pale pinks and some teals in there as well I felt that this collection with its combination of the the browns and this wood pattern paper was going to really work for me now this page does take a little bit of a turn and you can see me actually struggling at the very beginning here because I just I can't get this layout um, to fit on a page and sometimes as crafters uh, whether you call it lack of mojo scrap block it has a bunch of different names but we you know sometimes we will run out of creative mojo and it can take some time to find it again so I left this initial phase of the video in for you because I felt it was important for you to see that uh, even seasoned crafters we don't always get it right and sometimes it, uh, you know, it can take a little bit of time. So I knew that I was definitely going to use these photos. So this is my cat squirrel. That was the name she came with when we adopted her. And you can see that my cat door is now more like a cat hole. And although squirrel is an inside cat, she likes to sometimes escape out the back door through the cat hole uh, but this is our boxer boy Joseph and he is very quick to chase her back into her little hole they have this kind of um, yeah uh, hide and seek game going on where they will he will wait for her to come out and then he'll run up the back stairs and, and chase her back in the little cat hole so um, a super cute photo and um, I sort of felt that this at home collection with this picture of a, an event that's going on at home, it was going to be perfect for what I had in mind. Now, you can see that I've rotated that background. I had torn a piece of that floral paper. Um, I'm still got no idea what I'm going to do with those tags. I wanted to use them in a different way. I wanted to spread them around the layout and really stash bust that pile of tags so that I could um, sort of clear it off my um, used items list. So I think what was throwing me a little bit with this was that little three by four cutout. And as soon as I sort of took that out of the equation, I started to settle into a bit more of a rhythm in terms of how I like to scrap. But I also left this for, um, might've been a couple of nights sitting on my desk. I'm lucky enough that I have two areas that I can scrap with. So if I need to leave something, I will simply leave it and then I can come back to it later on. So I'm, I'm back again and I'm having a, a little play around and I decide that um, because I can't get the background to work like I should, I'll go ahead and I'll build this cluster around my photo. I purposely tried with these photos to get the, the cat hole, as I'm calling it, um, to actually match up on both photos. So the one with squirrel sticking her head out and the one with Jay chasing her back inside, um, I wanted them to sort of line up a little bit. And please excuse the photos with the state of the door, the back door. Uh, anyone with dogs will know that it is almost impossible to keep that area clean because that's where they want to lie. So this is working much better for me now. I'm happy with that little floral piece. That's giving me one of my triangular points of contact so that that's good I'm really liking that I've tucked the little um, tag in the back there I'm working my way through the tags to see how they're going to attach to the layout how else am I going to embellish this what what do I want to put on so I pulled the sticker sheet out and this started to help 
my creativity flow a little bit. And um, as I start to build this, yeah, it, it starts to develop and, and gather some momentum. Um, so this, I know this wasn't included in my uh, stash sort of or my new items to begin with but I'd also bought the sticker book that went with this particular collection of course when you add to cart sometimes other little things jump in there with us so I decide to um, pull out a couple of the stickers and um, start to embellish some of those and the, the story element of this particular layout is pretty important because um, as I explained to you it's all about the play and the relationship between this inside cat and this outside dog and how they get along in the world so quite a fun um yeah little piece and as I start to to work on this it, it starts to come together a, a lot better and I'm much happier with it so having a a little bit more of a play with these um, sort of particular elements I'm fairly happy with my background positioning in terms of that left hand wood sided piece and that top um, right uh, piece where I'm going to put my title so I've used those alpha thickers to make the word play um, I'm not a huge fan of like the long title it is a challenge for me so in this case um, choosing just a smaller easier to get along with title in the form of play works for me alrighty so I'm just gonna stick um, a few of this bits and pieces back down now that I'm happy I'm making sure that everything's got adhesive and it's all gonna stay stuck longer term you can see I've tucked that little border sticker in behind there it does get a little bit lost in hindsight maybe I would have traced it with some black just to let it pop out a little bit um, but it's there now it's formed part of the background and um, yeah I'm just gonna leave it as it is okay so Adding my journaling, of course, which I always encourage all scrapbookers to add some form of journaling, even if it's on the back of the layout and it's a simple matter of just a, a date and who was in the photos. Hopefully down the track, somebody is going to be looking at these layouts and is going to um, want to actually know what was going on at the time while we kept this treasured memory. I have a little play with some of those floral papers, but again, they're just not working for me. So it's time to move on. Sometimes you'll um, try your best to get certain elements onto a page and it does not always work. So in this case, I'm gonna put those papers aside and use them for a different project down the track. I'm now adding um, some of those little uh, puffy hearts. Again, working through my stash elements, trying to add bits and pieces here and there. I decide again, just so I can um, use up these tags and get them busted, I'm going to form this little cluster up in the top right-hand corner where my title's gonna go. It also needs a little bit of something to bring it to um, match in with the bottom portion of my layout. So a couple of little floral stickers are going to be added in there as well. And then I look at what I've created and sort of think about it and go, all right, the final element here that I've got from my um, uh, beginnings are these floral stickers so I need to put a couple more florals around and I actually really like how these sort of blend in with the um, florals from this collection so it didn't have to match perfectly it certainly didn't match perfectly um, but it seemed to work so those little floral stickers do add just that little bit of something extra and then I've got the glitter paste uh, here. So simply just using my spatula and adding some of this paste in different uh, layer of texture. So some of it's quite thick, some of it I will spread the paste and just have a little bit of glitter in the background. Uh, it does get a little bit hooked on the uh, tags. So I want to sort of just spread it around, put a little bit over the florals so they have a bit of sparkle as well and a tiny little bit at the top here. So I would have to say that this is certainly not one of my most favorite layouts that I've done, particularly recently. I do really love the Simple Stories family that I shared last time I did a three old and three new, um, but I don't necessarily hate this layout either. I think it just, because it um, was one that I struggled with a little bit, it was probably a bit more challenging and not quite what I had envisioned in my mind. So uh, I, I hope that 
um, you've taken something useful from this layout. I am happy that I have stash busted and I do love the collection. I do love the story of this layout and I hope that um, you've taken something and, and can relate to this page. So I thank you for visiting and as always, comments are most welcome. Uh, I love the feedback. I love reading what you guys are enjoying. I'm always happy to, um, yeah, see you pop by my channel. So thank you for watching and happy scrapping.